Hey, it's Nate and Sam from Stoke. We're here talking about uh, customer needs for full customer journey analytics. And Sam, can you help us see a couple of use cases of how that works with connecting Adobe Analytics to CRM? Sure, Nate, thank you. Um, yeah, so our integration you know, really focuses on connecting uh, Salesforce or Dynamics to Adobe Analytics. Adobe Analytics, obviously a world-class tool to be able to measure everything that's happening on your website. But, you know, in order to achieve that full customer journey um, analytics, you're going to need to be able to integrate into your CRM seamlessly. And so that's where our integration comes into play. We're really excited about it. This is an analysis workspace. This is, this is an example of what uh, analysis workspace looks like, you know, before our integration. You can see that, um, you know, I have 30 unique visitors that have come to my website uh, in the month of May. Now, as a marketer, I'd like to know more than that. I'd like to know... Um, how many of these 30 unique visitors have gone on to MQL? What stage of the funnel are they in? What job title uh, and industry that, that they have? That way that I, I can uh, personalize to them, I can hyper-personalize to them uh, with this data if I had it. And so with our integration, that makes you know, getting that type of data very easy. And so the way it works is you know, we can come over here to our, our integration interface and you know, once we authenticate to your Salesforce and Adobe Analytics instances, you know, we can come in here and let's say we wanted to import MQLs. So if you wanted to do that, um, you know, we we could we could do that very easy. We point at uh, we point at the Salesforce object that we're pulling from. We can specify the, the the event date that the MQL happens, and then any type of uh, filtering logic criteria. Let's say. You know, for example, MQLs are any lead records where the status is equal to working contacted. You could, you could specify all that here, and then you would just point that into uh, into a to, to an Adobe event uh, that we have set aside for it. You could pull in um, Salesforce dimensions, such as job title, write that into an eBar. All of that's really easy and possible, um, you know, with this integration. And so, once you've done that, you can come back over to Analysis Workspace. And this is the beauty of the integration. Now we can see all of that. So we can see uh, this MQL metric that's um, MQLs coming from Salesforce integrated at the ECID level. So this is at, at the visitor level, um, which takes full advantage of attribution IQ and, and uh, you know, the, the, the full power of analysis workspace. We could see, you know, industry and job title as we talked about. Let me just pull an industry right here. And all of this rich CRM data is now, it's like, oh, you got to blink twice because it's, it's, in your, it's in your analysis workspace now, which is awesome. Um, you know, we won't do it in this video, but you could, you could now personalize. You can create audiences around manufacturing uh, CMOs, you know, if we were to pull in job title, who are at the MQL stage. And we can create that audience and, you know, personalize to them in Adobe Target and really start to understand the full customer journey right here in, in, in Adobe Analytics, Nate. That's great. So any, any company can realize this um, by connecting their Salesforce or Dynamics data to Adobe Analytics and this full reporting capability is powerful. So thanks, Sam, for that. Any uh, questions you guys have, feel free to reach out, nate at thestokegroup.com. Happy analyzing.